the Iron Crusaders are a chapter created during the Ultima founding from the Gene Seed of Ferris Manus. The marines who make up this new chapter were originally intended to reinforce the ranks of the Iron Hands. The chapter came about when a new company of Primaris marines were sent to Medusa to join the Tenth and complete their induction into the Iron Hands and be distributed amongst the clans. In all battle simulators, the new marines were proven to be superior and on the battlefield they excelled next to their older brethren. Yet, doubt still surrendered their obsession for bionic enhancements and their hatred for flesh which bordered on the excessive. The Iron Council were reluctant to allow the marines to progress within the chapter, their zealous hatred for weakness surpassing even that of the most veteran Iron Hand. Whilst the marines' performance could not be questioned, the company found themselves at odds with their older brothers, unable to accept that they were being held back by what they perceived as a weaker generation of warriors. This insult could not stand, and so the council convened, and a decision was reached that this company of marines were too volatile to be allowed to join the clans. The calculus of battle is a precise method of war, and to allow such variables could cause unwanted disruption, leading to unfavorable outcomes. The final judgment was for the company to be sent on a crusade of penance, allowed to live but sentenced to a fate that almost certainly ends in death. As to not be associated with the Iron Hands, the marines were stripped of their name and told to remove all iconography. Forced aboard a rusted vessel, they were expelled from Medusa, never to return. The ship itself was a battle barge from a forgotten age named the Ferrum Est Veritas. Damaged and broken, aging hull open to the void, it was on this vessel that the Iron Crusaders were to serve their penance. Deep within the bowels of the ship, the marines uncovered ancient armor and weapons left behind since the Horus Heresy, and these were immediately looted, repurposed and gifted to the veterans of the company as a reminder of their long history and of their Primarch. The ship has slowly been repaired and no longer floats through the void with no purpose other than to be a coffin for those aboard. I will lead my crusaders into battle, the calculus forever guiding our advance, and the gorgon will hear our bolters roaring from across the void. Our weaponry will make the very realm of the Immaterium shake, and the gorgon shall know that his sons have been reforged, and they shall not be found wanting. Sthenos, Praetor of the Iron Crusaders Cast aside and with no planet to call home or chapter to hail from, their captain reappointed himself as Marshal of the Crusade and reformed them into a new chapter. His name is Seviston Meris. Due to their now fleet-based nature, bionic augments and mechanical replacements are a rarity and reserved for only those who have distinguished themselves on the battlefield and deemed worthy of these treasured possessions. This serves to spur the marines onward, each marine hoping to attain the right to remove whatever they can from their bodies and be reforged, for the repulsion of their own flesh is only matched by the hatred of the weakness it brings. Many marines have taken to adorning their armor with the skulls of their prestigious skills, displaying for all to see their right to augmentation and how the flesh decays to nothing but bone. The Iron Crusaders harbor deep resentment of the Iron Hands and the old Adeptus Astartes at large. It was these warriors that allowed the galaxy to crumble and squabble feebly among themselves, seeking glory and honor, hiding in the shadows, holding on to worlds of no strategic importance rather than committing the utter, calculated destruction of every threat to the Imperium. The company, whilst told to remove all iconography associating them with the Iron Hands, proudly display their lineage on their armor in open defiance of the Iron Council's orders and in line with their ever-growing zealotry and belief that they are the original Legion reborn and superior to their forebearers. They are the true carriers of Ferris Manus' gene seed and are closer to him than all the Marines who came before them. They are Primaris Marines, created from the purest stock of their Primarch's gene seed. They have awoken, and they are the future, or so they proclaim. I have investigated the reports of the most recent sightings of an Adeptus Astartes chapter bearing the heraldry of the 10th Legion and first founding chapter, the Iron Hands. 
Upon inspection of the battlefield, I can find little evidence to link the sighting with the one in my previous entry, or none that could be considered proof of an unregistered chapter. This is compounded by the current condition of the area in question. It is quite clear that there was an abundant use of heavy weaponry, judging by the myriad of plasma burns and high-velocity shell casings covering much of the landscape. There is further evidence of the use of repulsion technology, or so would be my deduction from what remains of what I believe to be corpses which have been crushed into the very ground. The orchestration of the conflict leads in only one direction towards a large bunker complex built into the side of the mountainous range, stretching north to south from the closest Hive city. It is apparent the complex was breached in multiple locations, and the xenos around these entry points are melted and contorted, some stuck to the very walls in what can only be a sustained flame assault. There is only one symbol displayed on remnants of the main bulkhead door, that of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The internal investigation of the complex yielded nothing usable, although I noted large storage chambers and what appeared to be power couplings stretching across much of the complex, leading to one central chamber. My findings point to this being some sort of a research facility, although it has been stripped almost bare. Local PDF command were unable to provide much detail, but investigation of the Hive City's records put its construction to my best estimates at around M32 and subsequent quarantine at M35, meaning the contents of the facility had been untouched for close to 6,000 years. No record of the facility's use or inventory exists. These have been destroyed either by a deliberate data purge or by the logs degrading over their millennia. The Xenos had been noted as attempting to enter the complex during the siege of the Hive City itself, but had failed on several occasions before the arrival of the Adeptus Astartes. I have taken the liberty of requesting an update on the current movements of Astartes chapters in the subsector, and I pray my inquest is not met with as much contention as the last. Inquisitor Latoria Ganska their brazen disregard for the Iron Council's instructions and their repulsion of weakness and flesh gains them no allies amongst the Astra Militarum or the other chapters of the Adepsis Astartes. To this end, the Iron Crusaders acquire any and all technology available to them throughout their crusade, seizing weapons and armor for the benefit of the chapter with no regard as to who it belongs to, as long as it can be put to use. The chapter holds a delicate friendship with the Adeptus Mechanicus, they have had many dealings, always out of sight from the wider Imperium, trading technology and trinkets for war machines and augments. This has led to some adepts joining the Crusaders on their battle barge in the hopes of further discoveries and providing the chapter with a workforce willing to repair and maintain their armory in return for their protection and secrecy. The most recent rumors and murmurings amongst the adepts returning from a crusade undertaken by warriors with the symbol of the Iron Hand are that more marines have joined their ranks and their armory of war vehicles and weaponry is ever expanding as they move through the Segmentum Pacificus. From where and how it is not known, but it is clear that Severus and Meris's refusal to follow the Iron Council's final proclamation goes much further than just refusing to be expunged from the annals of history, but as far as Severson looking to recreate the Legion of Old. Some whisper that the Martian Adepts are ferrying fresh marines to him for the trade of lost secrets and ancient tech, or that they have given them the knowledge on how to produce more gene seed. But these are silenced very quickly and the adepts deactivated. The heresy that this rumor suggests would be enough to damn the Iron Crusaders and the Mechanicus both. All investigation by the Inquisition of such claims have been fruitless, as the Iron Crusaders leave nothing in their wake and no records are kept of their movements or composition. No Astartes chapters have reported fighting alongside them, and any Imperial Guard or planetary defense regiments who may have briefly seen the Crusaders' arrival and subsequent departure can only identify the iconic Iron Hand on their shoulder guards, leading to many confusing reports and false sightings, much to the annoyance of the Iron Hand's chapter itself, who receive frequent communication and interrogation from the Inquisition as to this unregistered chapter bearing their symbol. Of course, all knowledge of such a chapter is refuted.